Hello, this is Ben. Thank you. We recently exceeded half a million views. I'm glad and thank you for your support of this channel. And I will continue to highlight things that are hardly talked about uh, as far as engine technology is concerned. And I was just at the racetrack last week. And I was very, very surprised that uh, certain things that happen with the engine, very important things. A lot of guys that are running fast really uh, is unaware or, or largely have any idea what's going on. So I'm here to highlight some of these things. And here they are. What you're looking at are the chuck missing off that cylinder. This is the intake side, that's the exhaust side. No issues on the exhaust. And look at here. Chunks of this came off, landed on top of the quench, part of the piston and cylinder head, and damaged it. Here is another damaged piston melting on the intake valve relief area. North and South V groove application. Works real good from mild to racing applications. Two red dots signifies temperature and pressure spike areas. This is the directed V groove process that you are looking at. Okay, this is the way it should be directed. Right there. This is the lean side of the combustion chamber, because that's a short side. And combustion pressure will build up right here and shoot right there and consume all the, um, basically the unburned fuel there basically right after TDC, okay? So that's what we're looking at. That's the way it should be. This is an example of a softened combustion chamber. Note the quench area has been tapered to a wider clearance. This is the 280Z head. It's been milled 40, 40 down. The tapering of, of the quench side or softening of the head is very effective here. The V group softening the heads by taking a three, five degree cut on the quench side as well as doing the same on the piston. It's critical what kind of pistons you use that you can have the effect of a softened head. All right, so I will show that on the upcoming video. Anyway, this is a short video really and uh, the longer version, I will go through the final details of what and why I'm doing this. Softening the heads, and you can apply that not just on the heads, but I can do it on the piston itself. And have the same effect, and that's what I'm going to show in this video that I will complete uh, ASAP.